Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use Avada Element Animation Options. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. Element animations are found in many elements as well as the container and column elements so you can animate individual elements or the columns or containers they are in. Anywhere you find the Extras tab, you will find Element Animation Options. The animation options have the same layout and features for all elements that use it, so let's take a look at how it works on the Business Coach pre-built here. If I just refresh the page, we can see the animation at play. The logo and menu for example fade in from either side, and the content blocks down the bottom are also fading in. Let's go to the builder to see how this is achieved. The logo and menu of course are located in a header layout, so if I go to that layout and edit the column the logo is in, we can find the Extras tab and scroll to the bottom to find the Animation options. With the Column and Container elements, the animations are on the Extras tab, but so are many other options. The Column element has both Filter and Transform options, and so here you find the Animation options at the bottom of the panel. Here we can see the animation is set to Fade, from the left at a speed of 1 second, with no delay. Likewise the column the menu is in is set to the same, only it's fading from the right. Let's now go to regular page content in the Live Builder. These three content blocks have also animation set on the column. The left and right columns are fading in from the left and right respectively, and the middle column fades in from the bottom. Now below this we can see animation on a title, but that's the rotating title type in the title element itself. But let's look at the button here. It has animation options set on the element. I'll just edit that, and head to the Extras tab, and here the animation options are by themselves. There are now 12 animations to choose from in all. Let's just go quickly through them one at a time to see the different effects. So here's Bounce, Fade, Flash, Rubber Band, Shake, Slide, Slide Short, Zoom, Flip Vertically, Flip Horizontally, Light Speed, and Reveal with Color. The difference between Slide and Slide Short is that Slide Short will animate exactly the size of the object, and so the larger the object is, the less the difference there will obviously be. When an animation is selected, there are other options below it. For most animations there are four options, but with Flip Vertically and Flip Horizontally there are only three, and with Reveal with Color there are five. The first of these is Direction of Animation, and the initial selection is left, but you can choose from Top, Right, bottom, left, or static. Here it's set to top. This option is of course missing from flip vertically and flip horizontally, as they have an inherent direction already set. With the reveal with color animation, the next option is animation color. This of course is for the color used for the reveal. If I just choose a color here, we can see it at work. Then there is the speed of the animation. This is in seconds, and you can choose anywhere from 0.1 of a second to 5 seconds for the animation to complete. Here there's a nice slow fade of 1 second. The next option is Animation Delay. This could be very useful if there are multiple elements in the viewport that otherwise would all animate at the same time. With this you can control each individual element animation in conjunction with the next option, Offset of Animation. With content like this that's halfway down the page, there's no point animating the element if that animation happens when the page loads, and people don't see it. So this last option, Offset of Animation, controls when the animation begins. The default in this pre-built is Top of Element Hits Bottom of Viewport. You can also choose Top of Element Hits Middle of Viewport, or Bottom of Element Enters Viewport. So this option, in conjunction with the delay options, gives you full control over when the animation begins. And remember you can also animate whole containers. If I edit this container, and go to the Extras tab, here the Animation Type option is at the top, just under the Position Sticky option, and above the Filter Type options. To illustrate, I will set this container to Slide, from the left, at a speed of 1 second. As always, remember less is more, and animation is sometimes appreciated by users, and sometimes not. But the options available with Animations in Avada allow you to make a full range of animations for individual elements, as well as columns or full containers, from eye-catching razzle-dazzle, to subtle and smooth. Ok, that's it for this video. 
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.